I won't take up too much of your time, but I do want to say how important it is to use ICT to help the environment. Let me outline three ways the EU is helping do that. The first thing is to make the best use of data. Data can hugely help the environment. We see from projects like Inspire and GMES what you can achieve if we share, use and reuse data properly. Plus, there are so many environmental applications based on linked open data, monitoring things from water quality to ozone levels. And that's why we have made an ambitious legal proposal to open up public sector data. The proposal sets out how public bodies should make their data available at marginal or zero cost. For people to reuse however they want without complicated conditions. That can be the fuel for so many new innovative products and services. Helping the environment and helping in other areas too, from, transparent, from transport to culture. Overall, it could create a more open government, a better environment and boost the market by around 40 billion euros a year. That is our proposal for opening up public sector data. Now member states need to take action. First, they and the European Parliament need to agree on our legal proposal. And alongside that, we need a cultural change too. Not least because some important kinds of data may not be covered by our legal proposal. For example, the data produced and owned by transport operators. But public authorities can still easily make that kind of private data available for reuse, for instance by asking for it when procuring services from transport companies. And it is a big environmental benefit if we do so. So to really unlock the benefits, we need not just legislation, but a change of philosophy in public and private institutions. Let's make that happen. One area where we can really see the benefits of better data use is in our cities. Cities are the home to two in three Europeans and the source of much of our emissions. There are already loads of good ideas to make cities smarter and greener using new technology. From nearly zero energy buildings to more efficient transport. And much of that relies on better data usage. Imagine if we had links and sensor networks providing data across the energy and transport networks, making energy use more efficient, better integrating sources into the grid, like the solar panel on your roof, and cutting traffic through better logistics and mobility. Overall, better information would mean more choice, more convenience and a better environment. The components for building smart cities are there. But now we need to start using them. In particular, we need to overcome the barriers to deploying new ideas. Our new European Innovation Partnership on Smart Cities and Communities will help do that. By working together, we can stimulate and catalyze new innovations. Learn from the ideas that worked. Ensure coherence and check we have the right policies, including on open data. We should start by making best use of the data we already have, like the data from smart meters. Accessed by third parties, transparently and openly, without breaching privacy, will be a great way to fuel innovations and tailor systems. New technology and new ways to use information can do great things for a greener, more sustainable world. I want to do all I can to support that. Have a great conference.